We are here at the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild booth here at E2 2016. I played the game tw uh, thrice and thrice, three, three times. Race. And now I'm gonna go around the whole booth, see if I can get interviews with you guys and see what they thought about the game. So hype, so ready. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's go. Wow, all right guys, HMK here, Duncan Need Beam, Zoe. We're here at the Breath of Life, oh. Breath of Life, Breath of the Wild demo here, booth. Dude, I'm, I'm created, so... They've created Hyrule, look at this. Uh, look at this. That did not just happen. Yeah, that did just happen. Man, we both played a demo. What'd you think about the demo? Confirmed so many of the things I wanted to see in this game. Oh, the, did you do any of the dodges? Yes. Oh, I got oh. the Claymore. I did the uh, flurry rush with the claymore. Yeah. I did the flurry rush with the woodcutter's axe. I did it with the one-handed sword. I tried out all the different flurry rushes, editing that together because I got footage. Right, yo, that's but, gonna be oh great. man, that is an awesome combat system. It's right. an awesome combat system. You know you can combo by the way as well. You right. start a flurry rush, yeah. and in the middle of the flurry rush, you can pull out your bow and finish it with an arrow. I didn't know that. I got to try. <laughs> I'm gonna try it tomorrow. What do you thought about the Zelda demo? All right. So first of all, uh, anything will chase you. It'll chase you for forever until you kill it. You can die in mud, and uh, it's a lot like Skyrim, but Zelda, literally. So I like it. I like it. The demo I thought was awesome, I thought it was amazing, I thought there was a lot of cool interesting stuff that we finally saw firsthand that a lot of people have been talking about for a long time, they're really doing something special with the Zelda game. Oh, uh, it's great. It's been three years in the anticipation arena, oh my god, finally it's here, it was fantastic. It's just like what they said, it's like a big difference. Enjoyed every minute of it, we got 35 minutes with it, I still think I needed like four more hours or something. <laughs> Maybe another 78 hours, I don't know. That's uh, great. So there's a lot going on for it. Just having, um, they already straight out say Ganon is there. Spoiler alert, I guess. I mean, not really. But no, it's like so good. They um, There's a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of minor details that they included. The physics engines, phenomenal. Yeah, it's great. For me, I think it's just pretty cool to be one of the first to play the game. So. Yeah. It's an honor. Right, we're all here playing. Maybe I was waiting outside the door like, let me in, let me in. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was like, um, I tried to say, it's like a Zelda game infused with uh, Skyrim and Witcher a little bit. And and it's like Twilight Princess on steroids. It's everything I wanted. It's got the um, art style. It's very like Skyward Sword-ish. Yeah. It's awesome. It's so, I, I begged her if I could stay to play a little more but it's truly open world Zelda, and that's what it felt like. Yeah. Before I get into interviewing Skyrim Wing over there, there's Reggie! <laughs> nice. What do you think about the demo? I thought it was really fun. I died a lot though, so I can imagine the Zelda game is gonna be a lot more difficult than the previous ones, which makes me very excited. But I also died to causes that I didn't think you could in previous. I died like drowning in, fro not even drowning, it was in freezing water and I died there. And I was like, oh, okay. And my shield burst into flames when I used the flame rod. So, besides that, it was all good. Dude, it was so different from every other Zelda. Um, it was fresh. Uh, you know, they can keep the same formula, but really, they just really had a lot of innovation here. I loved it. Uh, there was a lot going on. It's a little intimidating, I'll be honest, but I, I did love it for the 20 minutes I played it. I thought it was really, really cool. So I'm not really a huge Zelda fan. I don't usually buy the game on release, things like that. I do like Zelda, but not as intensely as most people who like Zelda. This is so cool. I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to buy the game on release. They just added so much. Uh, it was actually almost a little bit difficult to play starting out because there are so many different things that you can do and so many controls and stuff. But really excited so it's gonna be fun the temperature matters you make sounds when you run around he you could change links clothes to different things you can craft items and make food and he hums a little tune when the food's cooking it's the little the details right. are everywhere it was fun uh, I it seems like it's gonna be a really big game so I'm kind of that seems like it's going to be a lot to take on. I'm kind of like, there's so many open world games at the moment that I'm trying to get through that's like, uh, another one. But it is a nice change of pace for the series overall. So uh, I'll, get to it. I'll get to it eventually. But it was, uh, it was fun. It was very um, peaceful almost. So it's very kind of just calming to play through. It's not like something like Skyrim where there's all this 
like super intense graphics and all this crap going on where it's just like, oh, you know, you're just in this field and here's some mushrooms. I'm going to go kill something. And so it was very, it was fun. It was nice. What did you guys think about the demo? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it was super exciting. The mechanics were solid. Um, there's a lot of things that are still going to be added, I, be, I feel, but it, yeah. it's, so far it looks amazing. I can't wait for it to come out. I like all the options in it, like how open it is in terms of the world, how many options you have with like cooking the food and doing different things like that. And also, you can keep him in his underwear if you want. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> like. The super sexy link. That's awesome. That's what everyone wants, right? It was amazing. So far, I loved every aspect of the game. It looked really impressive. Uh, I like the fact that you can actually climb on a lot of the enemies, too. You have a stamina bar, you actually have to keep uh, like regulated on your temperature, so you have to put like clothing on too, so that was really cool. What did you think about the demo? Wow. That's honestly, it's amazing. It's just, it's like a mind-blowing Zelda experience with like no limits. It really felt limitless. I think so. Uh, I don't know. My mind was so blown, I was genuinely standing there like trying not to cry of emotion. So. Yeah, I just like the whole thing. The second like part was definitely more fun, but I think that's just because I had more of like a story. Yeah, big fan of like jumping into places on parasails. That old man is like he knows how to like make an entrance. So, what was your favorite part of the demo? Ooh, I, honestly, I really enjoyed the voice acting. It really kind of brought me in more. I was invested instead of just reading some text. I was like, okay, this is a nice and welcome step. I enjoyed that. I really like the fact that you could interact with almost anything in it. Like, they tried to really go there for that realism. Like, I felt like there's a lot of freedom. What was your favorite part about the demo? Um, dying in the mud. <laughs> Actually, one thing that really caught me off guard was the climbing, because I thought you could, it'll like automatically let you climb down once you get to the ledge. But if you get too close, you're just gonna fall right off. So watch out for that. I really liked the ability to. Oh, there's so much. I like to be able to like change weapons and change clothes and things like that. But I think the most helpful thing is being able to eat food to replenish health, because I die a lot in video games. <laughs> so like I died three times even with that. So. Yes, I would say eating the food is like huge. Favorite part of the demo, to be honest with you, I thought the ambient music and the ambient sounds was awesome. There wasn't really a lot of music that we were so used to when we're roaming around the world. This one, you can hear like different crickets, you can hear all the different creatures running around and stuff. The enemies that are moving around far in the distance as you're being stealthy. Really, really cool, really different for a Zelda game. I just want to play more. I just want to play more. And when the demo ended, I was in the middle of the Magna um, dungeon. Right. And I was like just picking something up and I was like, those are so cool. And <laughs> Oh yeah. No, I'm looking forward to that. It's completely non-linear. The guy confirmed with me. Right. Uh, I was talking to him about it. He said the whole game is non-linear. There are over a hundred of those tombs in the game. Uh, it's completely non-linear. You can do them in any order. None of them are required. The only things that are required are the bigger dungeons, which you can do in any order. Just finding random items and random weapons in the world. Um, that's just unheard of in Zelda, right? You get the three swords in the game and that's it, right? So this is really cool to just pick up items from the world and just use them to your advantage. And there's just a lot to do. So the, the size and the weapons were definitely my favorite. Oh man, you know what? Seeing the, seeing the expansion of it, seeing, looking, getting a look around and knowing you could go to those places and seeing just the, the, um, the different areas are so different and varied and then we only got to try the woods normal kind of area but you see all the, everything else so for me the most exciting part is seeing how big it is and getting to go and do it all part part way through the second half of the demo um, it opens up a little it shows you kind of different locations that you're gonna be visiting and I just cannot wait I was just kind of running around doing whatever so uh, but I did see other people going through the some of the shrines or some of the temples, and um, that look that looks pretty fun. But I, my, myself, I didn't I didn't get to it because you, you know you're on a time limit. So what was your favorite part about the demo? Oh my gosh, um, my favorite part about the demo is just going around and doing all the things. The fact that we could kind of see into the temples, get a little glimpse of what we're gonna see, like the Sheikah tablet and just the story. It's exciting that there's a little bit more of a voice in this game too for me. Yeah, and in addition to that, um, just the sheer broadness of it. You can do anything you want. You can climb anywhere. It as long as you have the stamina. It's it's it's, it's amazing. Like it's so big. There's gonna be so much to explore once it's out. Uh, I think to me, like, like I said, it, it is very limitless. Like you can just kind of kill anything, take their items, and use it as your own, like, um, I think the whole heart refilling subject is actually cool. 
It's more realistic. It's more like real life. What was your favorite part about the demo? Because there was a lot of things that you can do in this game. I like where they placed it time-wise on the timeline. You actually are, like said, a hundred years into the future, so you don't really know what's going on now, and you're trying to figure everything out. Even Link at certain points are asking, do you remember who you are? So it, I'm really interested to see where the story's gonna go in the future and the possibilities of the enemies. Ganon look beast. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed those interviews. It looks like Breath of the Wild is aiming up to be a massive success for Nintendo. It's already been a hit for the guys who played the demo. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, like, share, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK, because I can't wait to cover more about this game leading up to its release. So, until the next Breath of the Wild video, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.